What is up Sagittarius? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are timeless, so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. These are also general, so please keep that in mind. If they don't resonate, that's perfectly fine. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placement on my channel. I am running a promo on my Patreon channel, so if you want a 15 minute reading that is free from me, go ahead and sign up as a tier two or three Patreon now through March 15th, 2021. Go ahead, check that out. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through my website in the description box. I also have a promo code available on my website right now for you guys for all hour long readings. So that's just a goodie I decided to throw up for you guys. So if you want to use that, go ahead, check it out. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, and Sag, let's get into it. Let's see what goodies we got for you. Um, I don't know why I decided to chew gum today. It was like the worst decision of my life, but I guess we're just going to deal with it for this video. Um. Okay, let's do Tarot and Wonderland. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. I don't know why you feel like very like mystical, Sag. Like very mystical, very playful. Like I. And I don't get like mystical creatures much, but like unicorn, which is, I, f I even feel silly saying it to be honest with you. Like I'm not like really into like mystical creatures and things like that, but I know I've been pushed to kind of dive into that kind of stuff. Like get a few Oracle decks in regards to it and I will, but um, to me, that's a, that speaks a lot to higher consciousness energy. It's also shift in perspectives. It's a lot of freedom energy. I think I think freedom and I think Sagittarius though in general. Let's see what's going on for Sag. I don't like the energies from people around you right now. I feel a lot of tension with people around you. Knight of Cups. The Four of Swords in reverse. Libra energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. This feels like almost like wanting to push people away. And it doesn't it doesn't feel like the people around you are being like very toxic and clingy. Um, it's almost like it's almost like people are wanting your attention. I want your attention. I want Sagittarius around me. I want Sag and it's almost like I feel like you really want to be left alone right now. That's really what the energy feels like. And if you want attention and affection from people, it's certain people. It's like certain people in particular, and that's not the people that are gravitating toward you. Yeah, Seven of Cups. You have all these options, all these people coming toward you, showing you all this attention, all this affection. You're like, these are not the people that I'm looking for right now. King of Pentacles. It's because you're stable. It's because you're stable, because you're grounded. I feel like people are reaching for you like the right, blah, blah, blah. Like the life raft. Okay, I really have to do a video on this. This came up on Patreon too, the Patreon Weekly for this week in particular, actually. Even though this is a timeless reading, it did come up for the week that I'm recording this. Um, as of right now, we have going on in the collective, I'll just say it really quickly. The collective is accepting energetically, because we're in the 5D, right? We shifted out of the 3D back in December, January. Shifted into the 5D consciousness. It's just a higher state of consciousness, a very progressive, very positive, um, expansive energy, right? So we're ready to grow, we're ready to embody something that is going to help us evolve into a higher, more productive version of ourselves. It's, it's a very good thing. But in order to do that, we gotta release a lot of things that have been holding us back. So we're going through like a collective dark night of the soul. So we have this big old pocket of people sitting in the 5D. And then we have this group of the collective that's a lot smaller that's sitting in the 3D still because I really don't like to use these labels, but as a lot of people might just call them asleep. I don't, I personally don't like that label because at some point we were all asleep. Let's just call it what it is. We were all asleep at some point and then we were like, oh gosh, spirituality right? We were all asleep at some point. I, I personally just don't like that label because it has a very like derogatory connotation with it. Um, but there's just people who are at a different point on their timeline and they happen to be going through their awakening during this big shift. 
that's a pretty rough point to be having your awakening during this massive shift in consciousness but that's just kind of the cards they were dealt and so what's going on right now is that these people that might be gravi gravitating toward you because you're the life raft it's because they happen to be going through their awakening during this massive shift in con consciousness and they're ascending really quickly because the universe is all like hey we're shifting in the 5d i need you to catch up buttercup like can you uh speed up your process so we have a group of the collective that's really struggling right now you might have a lot of people going through a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of depression because they're going through some really heavy dark night of the soul this could even be you you might be going through a second dark night of the soul you might have people in your environment family members friends so it's a really important time to hold space for other people to be really compassionate with yourself compassionate with the people in your environment and understand that the things that are coming up right now might be really freaking heavy but it's because we're releasing a lot of energy so we can have this massive collective shift into the 5d together even though we're in the 5d it's almost like okay collectively collectively we have decided we're now officially ready to really step into it okay but we do have this group that is going through their awakening from the 3d to the 5d right now and just a little behind just a little behind so either you are part of that group or you have people from that group gravitating toward you okay yep the world <laughs> because they're closing out cycles yep ace of wands your overall energy because we're closing out the 3d to move to the 5d and people are losing their shit nine of swords <laughs> okay <laughs> so just hold space have a little compassion i know it's hard because we have people who are losing their shit internally we're all losing our shit a little bit and it's kind of like i'm trying to keep my shit together while you're losing your shit but i want to keep my shit together to help you while you're losing your shit but you know i'm trying to hold space for me and hold space for you just learn the dance learn the dance of being there for yourself, being there for another, learning not to give to your detriment, being a good support system. There is a balance. There is a balance. And for some of you, that is your test while going through this, is learning that balance and those boundaries with people. Saying, hey, listen, I love you. I'm here for you. I have some things I'm going through myself, so I'm gonna be there for you as much as I can, but please know that I have to be there for myself right now too, because I have some pretty heavy things going on internally. Okay? Okay. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this bad boy. It's gonna it's gonna be a doozy through March. It is. It's gonna be a very nice progressive movement forward, but it might be a bit emotional. Thank you, Pisces season. Right? Right. And I don't wanna use you. <laughs> Let's use spellcasters. <laughs> I find it so funny that the world and then the Ace of Wands wanted to come out like, yes, we are ending this world and going into a new cycle. A soul cycle. Wands, right? The soul. Fire energy. Progressive energy. So let's look at this Knight of Cups energy. <laughs> it's kind of like a little cup of porridge. <laughs> Can you just love me? Can you just help me? Yeah, Three of Wands. Death. <laughs> I'm going through this transformation and I don't know what to do and I feel like everybody's abandoning me. Can you please help me? <laughs> Can you please help me? <laughs> That's literally what's going on here. And I hope you know that like I'm not laughing at anybody. Like I'm laughing because it's just, it's such a theme. I've seen this, I literally saw this in three readings on Patreon and it's just, it's baffling that it comes up the, for the week that it's happening that I did the readings for on Patreon now for the collective. Um, it's just crazy consistent. Um, Five of Pentacles energy, it, it's, it's actually fear. It doesn't even feel like abandonment really. It feels more like fear of being left behind, fear of being lonely, having to cope with this transformation by oneself, right? That's really what this feels more so. I'm scared of going through this process, this this death, this, it, it does feel more like an actual, not a literal death. It feels like a death process of one soul, like the shutting away of things. How can I do this? How can I do this by myself? It feels like a massive, like, take the breath away moment. 
and they know that that's coming and they know that's the process they're going through death scorpio energy five of pentacles taurus three of wands aries and i think that's why they're it, this is almost like the olive branch like please help me please be here for me and even if it's like a playful cup that they're offering it's actually a cry for help right because they, do, they don't know how to do the healing the four of swords okay libra energy so let's look at the four of swords i think for some of you the four of swords is actually yourself like hey I kind of want to be alone right now it's not that i don't want to help you it's just that i need my space because i got a lot of my own plate yeah it's just i'm not not i'm not trying to sound rude whatsoever when i say this it's almost like the inner dialogue of whoever this four of swords is whether it be you or the person that you're going to wanting help from is almost like hey, you're going to be fine. You'll get through it. I just kind of want to be alone right now. It's kind of like that, like brushing them off. Like, you'll be good. You got this. I'm, I'm going to go take a nap now. You're fine. And I think that this person's saying that though because they went through it by themselves. Not to negate them going through it by themselves. They're going through it during a massive collective consciousness shift. They're going through it during a very pivotal time, during a very peaked energetic season. This person, not really holding space right now. Trying to, some of you I know are definitely trying to, and because this, this is a general read, please keep that in mind. This is a general reading. It's not a personal reading to you, so don't take it personally, right? I'm not throwing any daggers here, but, um, this person in this read feels almost like they're like, I just don't have the time to be there for you because I, I kind of just want my own space. You're going to be fine. You'll be good. I got to go focus on me. Let's look at the Seven of Cups. I don't know why this feels like confusion. Yeah, Five of Wands. This feels like this person almost spiraling, like feeling a little out of control. This is this is depression. This is depression hitting. Ace of Wands. I'm not taking all this. Temperance in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They're losing their balance when it comes to this new cycle. They have a lot of confusion. Okay, Five of Wands in reverse. That's them wanting to give up the fight, right? Because now they, they see this new cycle coming, right? It's it, it's within their reach, but King of Cups in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. It's this sense of I'm not enough. I can't do this. I don't feel grounded. I don't feel stable. I don't, I don't think I can create what I need to create for myself. Their own masculine feminine energy is so just knocked off the rocker. It, it's just, they're really struggling. They are. I'm going to be very honest, there's a lot of people struggling with very bad depression right now. So if you have people around you that are in that struggle energy, try your best to really be there for them right now. Like hold space for them. Um, you're going to notice even in the comments of some of these videos, there's going to be, there's going to be some people that are struggling and just be really supportive of the collective right now like send like healing energy healing vibes like send prayers out at night like i know i do um i'm not saying you're obligated to but it's just a really good time to be to step into that higher consciousness energy and remember that i am one you are one we are one like if, if i'm capable you're capable we're capable those kinds of affirmations alone saying that i am you are we are affirmations i am strong you are strong we are strong Doing like three or four of those before bed at night is very positive for the collective right now. It's very beneficial. It's just like that alone will help the collective. Just saying three or four sentences of I am, we are, I am, you are, we are affirmations is, is very like loving and uplifting for the collective. But a king of pentacles in reverse is someone who's emotionally shut down. I mean, King of Cups in reverse is emotionally shut down. King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who doesn't feel stable enough, confident enough to provide and, and care and create a safe, stable environment for themselves. And a Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone who doesn't feel capable of nurturing themselves, loving themselves, doesn't feel worthy. It's that lack of confidence in oneself, right? Let's look at the King of Pentacles up right now. 
I think that this is why they're gravitating towards you. Yeah, because they wanted to feel that confident. Because this is your energy, right? Or this is the person you are gravitating toward. Very confident, very stable, very grounded. Ha having all this manifestation power. Able to overcome any obstacle the universe threw at them. And that's why they wanted to gravitate towards the per this person. Yep. Because they wanted to build. They wanted to build. They wanted help. They wanted to help to create this, this new cycle for themselves. That's it. Let's look at the world. Oh, it's kind of sad. Ten of Wands, okay. So they are going to be closing out a cycle here. Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. I, Eight of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Swords, some people still are going to be holding on to a lot of emotional baggage even at the end of this cycle though. Even at the end of this cycle, some people are still going to be holding on to this emotional baggage. Right here, because they weren't able to... Because they're going from the 7 to the 8 in reverse, right? It's not that they weren't able to. I think it's almost like the path is so accelerated right now in the collective. Like the shift is happening very quickly. I think that just there there is this struggle, right? It's a really important and significant time to really be there for one another, right? This um, Mars and Gemini energy we just had is a very social energy. It's a really good time to really communicate and collaborate with people, socialize, and just hold space. It really is. Oh, yep, bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. That very vulnerable energy, right? Let's look at the Ace of Wands in the overall. Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm. And the Two of Cups. Yeah, it's this hesitance to pursue the soul path and collaborate. Yeah. So between the Two of, two of Pentacles, what is this? I almost said Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is that wanting to collaborate in order to help the soul evolve, right? And that's all this person wanted. Knight of Wands. They, they literally wanted the life raft. They're either moving toward you or you're moving toward a person because they wanted that help. A Knight of Wands in reverse is like a very impulsive energy. It almost feels like the lost boy. Like someone who's very like scattered all over the place. Like I don't know where to go. I don't know what I should be doing. I know I'm moving on my path, but I really need help. I wanted that guidance, right? And that's all they were looking for because they felt the cycle coming. And it's kind of like that Tasmanian devil energy running around in circles. So if you're on the receptive end of this, please try not to write this person off or these people off. Try to find that really healthy balance for yourself because you are a priority too. You are. But there, at this point in time, there is that need for a balance. There really is. Uh, trust me, like, being in this line of work, like, I get this. I get this 100% because I promise you, like, there's, there's people gravitating toward me, asking me for help too. And I, I even have my own stuff, right? There is a need for that balance. There is. And I promise you, you will find that balance. I promise you. But you need to find that balance. And you will. You will. But that's part of this process. That's why these people are gravitating towards some of you, right? To understand that balance. And for others of you, it's to find the people that you are meant to find so you can progress on your path in a very healthy way. Okay? But overall, both people are in a very eight of swords because some of you are stuck pushing others away and some of you are stuck trying to shift into this higher consciousness. Yeah, because we go from the eight of swords to the nine of swords, the hermit in reverse. That need for introspection, that need to go within, that deep thought to overcome these obstacles, right? But Sag, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Good luck with this process. Be gentle with each other in the month of March. And um, if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. You want a free 15 minute reading, go ahead, check out Patreon now through March 15th and sign up as a tier two or three Patreon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.